Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to the bus. Today we have had a new uh, update for the bus. I say today, this is Wednesday, it came out last week, but unfortunately due to me being away in Berlin, uh, I've not yet had a chance to have a look at this. So of course with me going to Berlin and now coming back, what better uh, thing to do than take a look at the bus. Now there's been some updates you shall see here if we go into free play mode. We're going to be driving the, where are we now? We're going to be driving the, not the 200, the TXL. Doesn't run anymore unfortunately, uh, but that is what we're going to be driving today. About 1400, oh let's spice things up a bit. Well evening peak, 1600 or afternoon peak. This is what we're going to be driving. So we'll go back there. Uh, we've got a couple of new buses to work with. So, of course, if you remember, we had the Manline City Doppeldecker, which is what we're currently in. We had the Scania Citywide 12 meter and the Scania Citywide 18 meter, the bendy version. We've now got a couple more variants. So we've got the 18 meter with three doors, the 11 meter with two doors, the 11 meter with three doors the 12 meter with two doors and the 12 meter with three doors and the 18 meter with four doors. So we've got a lot more Scania's to play with. Now, I don't know if they actually have these in Berlin. I think they only have the bendy version. I've never seen a rigid version. They might have them, but I've never seen them. They tend to prefer things like Solaris Urbino 12 electrics as well as Mercedes Citaros. Uh, but yeah, let's go for an 11 meter with two door. Now, short little bus. I say short little bus, it's 11 metres rather than 12, so it's not really that much shorter. If we have a look here, it's... Uh, oh, look at it, it's dinky. I love it. It's weirdly proportioned as that, it looks wrong, doesn't it? Such a short little bus with such massive wheels. Yeah, I don't know if I like it. I don't know if I like it, but uh, yeah, let's let's jump on. Good uh, fat, good journey. We've got this flat white at the back there. It just looks a bit weird. Do these buses exist in real life, the 11 meter? I don't know. Right, so we've started our onboard, uh, on, onboard computer. Let's uh, start 1339. Oh, hang on. No, that's not worked. 1339. No, stop clicking that one. 13394. Lovely. There we go. Uh, start the engine. Yep. Yeah, there's been a number of different updates as well to this. So hopefully the bus should be a lot nicer to drive. Now, we're a little bit early. So we'll, there we go, left ships, base bar, yeah. Oh, it moves, right. So we'll, we'll pop the, uh, hang on, reminder, how do we open the doors? F11, that seems to do both, doesn't it? Yep, oh, look how small it is. This is brilliant. I'm glad that we're getting a few more buses and tickets as well. 24 hour AB, you paid exactly, sir. 24 hour AB, thank you very much. Very kind of you. Although I'm sure it wasn't that much, is it not like... Oh yeah, they have um, single ticket ABC. It's like 10 euros for a... Oh yeah, you need your 20, 20 cents back, there we go. 24 hours ABC, is that 10 euro? It is, that is the ticket that we were buying. Uh, the 24 hour one. Uh, you can also get things like family tickets. It's nice that the ticket prices are correct for what it actually is in Berlin. Right, a little bit longer to go yet, so let's pop outside and get a nice... Uh, oh, heck, we nearly got run over there. I would get a screenshot, but I don't like the green lines around the bus stops. I wish you could turn them off. Maybe you can. Maybe I'm just uh, not aware of it. But yeah, this is certainly Berlin spec. You've got the absolutely massive wing mirror on the right there. Look at that. That's insane. I bet they cost a bob or two. We have got trains running over the bridge, uh, which are not correct. They're an S-stock, or an S-bahn stock from another German city, I think. Shall we... Uh, right, okay, we're ready to go. So let's, uh, let's, let's just go. Yeah, they're not correct, I don't believe. But, I mean, this is a bus simulator. This is not a train simulator. But still... It will be, it's nice that we've got trains, don't get me wrong, but come on guys, we're getting the trams as well. Oh, hang on. Hell, it's uh, it's a bit, heck, look at, look at how much it's rocking. That's absolutely insane. Can we zoom more out? I want to see the train going past. Off we go, we've got a green light. Oh, wow, wow, look at that. Now that is correct. That is absolutely gorgeous. The, uh, the frog style 4.8 
is it 482, 483? I can never remember what the flipping things are. The the standard, yeah, I think it is a 48. Oh, that is fantastic. Oh, look at that. I don't want to move. I know that like we need to, but I want to see this red train. But it's so good that we've got that we've finally got some S barn stock. Oh, this is ace. This is absolutely ace. I love it. Oh, hang on, we're up on the uh, up on the curve. There we go. We'll have a bit of bit of that. Oh, hang on, we're in a hedge. Do you know what? Let's just pop back into the bus. Oh, I do absolutely love this game. I'm really hoping that they uh, they bring the Citaro to this because Citaros are a massive, massive uh, thing in Germany or in Berlin. They have a lot of Citaros, 12 meter versions. Yeah, we're actually just going to focus on the driving now. I got a little bit distracted there by the trains, but uh, I can't wait. You know, like trams as well. We've got people in the middle waiting for trams. Please tell me that they've not added trams. If they've added trams, that would be absolutely insane. I don't think they have, because I think we'd have seen one by now. The trams are incredibly frequent down here. They turn right and go to uh, the street, which name I've forgotten, but there is a pharmacy there. Oh, what is it? It's not Warschauer Straße. Or is it Warschauer Straße? Um, oh, I can't remember. Will have been there. But yeah, down there, uh, there is another... There's, there we go, there's another S-Bahn station there, where they all terminate. What's the name of the flipping street now? I can't remember. Do you know what? I absolutely love this game. I really, really do. And... When you see this, you see how much TMLs come on in uh, in their bus simulators. I was really hoping, personally, that... Uh, oh, hang on, we're a little bit late. Keep going. There we go, keep going. Yeah, I was really hoping with the likes of... Um, oh, what is it now? Come on, think. Taurus Bus Simulator, that's the one. It would have been so much better if they'd have done it like they've done Berlin here, and done the whole island scale. You know, the whole scale of the island. Wouldn't that be absolutely brilliant in terms of the driving? Because I think that's where Torres Bus Simulator gets let down a little bit. Is uh, the fact... Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. The fact that the hills are too steep, the roads are too tight, because they're trying to scale it down. And it just, for me, it doesn't work as well as this. But this one-to-one -one of Berlin is absolutely ace. Now, what we do need adding, of course, is on the map... Um, you have to stop at every single stop. If you go past a stop, it doesn't register. You have to stop and open your doors for the minimap to move on to the next stop. Now, of course, as you'll know, if you've ever been on a bus in your life, this is not how it works. You know, the bus only stops if someone A, wants to get on, or B, wants to get off. If there's, oh, what's happening with these cars in front? You can see them spawning in and despawning. Looks a little bit weird. Don't tell me you've firm bust it. Because they've brought some uh, some horrendous bugs to Fernbus since the last update. But yeah, um, hang on, we'll keep going round there. Lovely stuff, absolutely lovely stuff. Of course, we're going down towards the Brandenburg Gate now. And if you are going to the Brandenburg Gate, you want to be at Brandenburger Tour, which is on the U5 line. Oh, hang on. We'll just keep in this lane then. Really, look, if we slam on here, look at how much it rocks. Look at that. The suspension's absolutely ace on this thing. They've also added, um, such as on Fernbus and Torres Bus, phones ringing in the background. That's quite a nice touch. Um, it's very similar, like little ambient sounds like that. Not too bus simmy, where you've got the, oh, my cats are this, that, and the other. I talk to my cats. People look at me weird when I take my cats for a walk. I'm sorry, but that's absolute rubbish. It's not necessary in a bus simulator. But the phones ringing just bring a little bit of ambience to your bus. A little bit of chatter that you can't tell what they're saying. But just a little bit of chatter in the background is what you want. That woman nearly got hit by the bus. Flipping it, love. He's having a good stretch before he gets on. Obviously, getting on a bus is a workout for him. Right, off we go. Oh, I love the TXL route. It's a shame that it doesn't run anymore. Um, of course, Tegel Airport has shut, so there's very little need or demand for an airport bus going to an airport that's shut. Obviously, everything's done through Berlin-Brandenburg. I don't know what happened to my voice then. Brandenburg. Um, 
But uh, yeah, everything's done through there now. And do you know what? I went to Berlin Brandenburg Airport and it's new, it's sleek, it's modern, it's eerily quiet. I mean, maybe, I mean, last time we went, when did we go to Berlin last? It was Christmas. It's just gone. There we go. We'll do your ticket, single ticket AB. Yeah, it was Christmas just gone, 2021. Um, so obviously you've got your COVID restrictions, so there wasn't as many people travelling. But what we did notice was that it was just eerily quiet. I'm liking the traffic here. Nice bit of traffic to, uh, to keep us going. There we go. Yeah, it was eerily quiet. And I guess that that's because this is a purpose-built airport that's very efficient. You know, it's very modern. It caters to the demand um, of the city. Bear in mind, of course, that there were at one time three airports in Berlin. There was Tempelhof, which closed many years ago. There was uh, Tegel, and there was Schönefeld, flown into Schönefeld and Tegel, um, which were not meant to be for the whole city. It was from when Berlin was a divided, uh, a divided city. We've already committed. I'm sorry. Way round we go. Let's make sure not to clip that curb, and away we go. We nearly stopped then. Flipping neck. So uh, yeah. It's not as chocker, and I don't mind a busy airport, because when you think, like going to Manchester Airport, yeah, everyone whinges and moans about Manchester Airport, but you get a real buzz of energy, you know, there's all these people that are going all over the world, you just don't get that at Brandenburg, um, because it's quiet, I mean, we were there late at night as well, so maybe all the exciting flights of the day have gone, um, yeah. And there was a, a man, uh, whoever was checking our passports and things when we went in was uh, was quite, I'm going to say rude. I mean, you never think of the Germans when you think of great customer service, do you? And I quite like that. I mean, it's not just Germany, it's very much in Europe in general. Um, it's very honest customer service. You know, if you've irritated the person serving you, they normally make a point of making it known that you have irritated them. And I like that. I've got a lot of respect for that. There's no fakery involved. Uh, oh, are we... Uh, come on. A little bit of indication wouldn't go amiss, sir. Uh... Oh, it's such a dinky little bus. Weirdly dinky. Um, but yeah, um, he, we, we were having our passports checked and uh, he asked us why we were in Berlin. We said for leisure. And uh, it got really arsy with us. Oh, another uh, look at that. That's brilliant. If I had to complain, it's that all the coaches are connected together by gangways on that, which is not the case in real life. Little details like this. Come on, get them sorted. It won't take you long. Perhaps I'm being a little bit picky. Perhaps I should just be happy uh, that we've got this feature. I've given you it. Oh, no, I've not printed you your ticket. My apologies, sir. Helps if I print the ticket, doesn't it? Oh, not a thank you. Nothing. Maybe it's like the buses in London where we don't speak to the bus driver. And of course, by the looks of things, there's Katina right above the S-Bahn, which is not, uh, if we if we just pan out there. Yeah, there's Katina right above the S-Bahn. That is not the case. Oh, look at that. It's brilliant. The stock is actually modelled really well by the looks of things. You just need to separate them so they're in two car units. Yep, I've been that guy. I've blocked the junction. Nope, Mr. Audi Taxi. Absolutely not. This is my road. I'm in the bus, therefore I am more important. Have we got many passengers on board today? Oh, we've got a CCTV screen. That's a nice feature. Have we always had that? Mode? We oh, that's inoperable, unfortunately. Never mind. Oh, and uh, they've just been a—they've just been hit. How rude! Oh, he's not bothered. He's not stopping. It's an absolute hit and run. Flipping uh, car drivers, the private motorists. Oh, I don't know. Right, where are we going? We're not stopping here, by the looks of things, because of course, don't forget the TXL. TXL is uh, a like semi-express bus, isn't it? It's an airport express. I always, I'm sure that the TXL used to go to Zoologische Garden. 
I'm absolutely sure it did. Maybe that's... Maybe I'm thinking just before it closed. I might be thinking of the X-10, because I know that goes to Zoologi Shagarten. There we go. Get them doors open. One thing that I am hoping TXL do better... Uh, oh, hang on. Eight euros, two euros. There we go. Can we not just give them a note back? Evidently not. Right, you want a 24-hour ABC. Thank you, madam. Yeah, one thing that I am hoping they improve on is the gearbox scripts. Now, anyone that has uh, any sort of knowledge about these Scanias is that they do have a ZF gearbox, which is a bit odd for Germany. Uh, Berlin in particular, a lot of their buses tend to have VoIF gearboxes. Now, the Manline City Double Decker does have a VoIF gearbox, but the gearboxes on these you can't really tell. You can't really tell what the gearboxes are. It would, not, it would be nice if they put a lot of attention into scripting correct gearboxes so that they behave like a ZF, you get the jerks when it changes gear like you do on a ZF. I believe these are a ZF Eco Life, so you don't necessarily get all the uh, all the sounds of the ZF gearbox that you would on an Eco Mat. But of course, um, oh, hang on. Oh, we've got a lot more people buying tickets as well. This is nice. I like this. You want a ticket as well, my love? Hang on. Two, four, six, seven. What's that? Oh, that's a six, right? Okay. Fair dues. It's nice that they give you different amounts as well. I like that. This game's really coming along. This is one of my favourite modern... Um, do you know what? Actually, I'm going to go out there and say, as of May 2022, if we just ignore that vehicle's just despawned, this is my favourite bus simulator that's new. You know, OMSI, we can't count OMSI because OMSI is quite old now. But out of all the ones that have come out recently, this is my favourite one. It's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. I like the fact that, like, this Golf and this, I'm assuming that's a Honda in front, has come into the left lane, but you've got the van driver that's in the wrong lane that's changed at the last minute. It's brilliant. There's just a couple more refinements that need to be made to this game. But so far, I am really, really, really impressed. And with every update, it just seems to keep getting better. Of course, don't forget we've had the updated cars. Um, we have also had the updated cars in Fernbus as well. Everything's a bit more of a normal colour as well. If you look, we've not got bright purple cars everywhere, bright orange cars, bright green cars. We've got a lot more silvers, greys, reds. Uh, there's a red over there, yeah. Greys, silvers and blacks, which is, of course, very true to life with the odd funky little colour like that BMW in the turquoise thrown in. Do you know what? Sod it, we're going through. Come on, Golf. Get your foot down. Of course, these are the tram lines here. Oh, Invaliden Park. So, yeah, this... I, I, do you know what? Until I pointed it out there, I hadn't actually noticed about the cars, uh, the colours, but they... Oh, my goodness me, they really improved. Really improved. You know, I always like to pride myself on giving a very honest review uh, of games, you know, hence why Bus Simulator 21 is continually slandered by me. Uh, but this is absolutely fantastic. If you're looking for a bus simulator that's not too, you know, that's a little bit arcadey, not too technical, it's not technical because it talks you through how to do it, you know, if you're looking for good graphics, if you're looking for a fairly easy, relaxed drive, this is the game for you. OMSI can sometimes be a little bit technical because it really focuses on well, everything being spot on. Oh, someone's just flown up in the air. Okay, little bugs. I'm confident they'll fix them. See, this is it. The bugs keep getting fixed with this game. Whereas with Astragon and Bus Simulator 21, they keep not fixing them. Or they seem to fix bugs that really nobody knew they were there. The big, obvious bugs that affect your gameplay are still very much prevalent nine months on. Whereas this is Ace, you know, and they are tweaking them, they are fixing them, and you can visually see what's being done. Are we rolling back? I think we're rolling back. Let's, uh, let's apply uh, a little bit of brakes there. Right, away we go.
down to us Hauptbahnhof Bahnhof main station, which is on the left hand side here. It's this massive glass building. Really, really impressive building it. it I mean, anyone that's watched my The Bus videos before will know how much I love Berlin. I'm really, it's one of my favourite cities on earth. And you know what? To be fair, since the last episode, I think they've done they've done some things around here, haven't they? They've worked on the map, I'm sure they have. It seems like there's... Oh, hang on. Whoa, look at that. I'm driving a bouncy castle, this thing. It really seems like they've worked on this a lot. You know, we've got the building site. Was this always this good? I don't know. I mean, it's a while since I've driven the TXL, to be honest with you, because of the 200 that came out. Most of the... Uh, most of the time that I've been driving, I've been driving on the Route 200. So yeah, it's a while since we've done the TXL, but this is ace. Oh, do you know what? I cannot wait. I mean, I'm recording this on the Wednesday. No, I'm not. This is coming out to everyone on the Wednesday, but I'm actually recording this on the day before I go. This is, uh, this is recorded on Thursday. So we're going on Friday the 6th of May. And oh my lord, I am so excited now after playing this. This is really the right game to play to really get me in the mood to go to Berlin. Uh, bashing the buses and the trains, of course. And trams, of course. Can't forget the trams. I wish Tram Sim would do Berlin. You know, the flexities in Berlin, that'd be ace. They really would. I mean, the only problem with Tram Sim... Have I just... Have, has he just hit me? My steering wheel's just absolutely flown off. Oh, I don't know. Whoa! Nearly into the back of the GT. This seems a perfect sized bus for the route. I mean, every seat is taken now. Do we not get passengers stood up on bus uh, on the bus? We've not got a single person stood up, and every seat is taken. Maybe the 11 meter version of the Scania is uh, is not the right one for this. Can we open the boot? No, or the bonnet. Either. Oh. Of course, there's no point system on this either. You just literally drive, which is great. That's something I like. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like the fact that Bus Simulator has that kind of goal to it. But, I mean, the idea of a Bus Simulator, surely, is just to drive the routes up and down. I like the fact this isn't scored. If you have an accident, it's not the end of the world. There's a lot of things I like about this. Hey, dear me. Right, so we're going right now. If we press M, of course, we can view the map. So we're roughly from where Hauptbahnhof is. We are rough... Not Hauptbahnhof, that's here. From where Alexanderplatz here is, we're roughly halfway up to the airport, which is up there. It's a really, really great route, is this? And like I say, I'm a little bit gutted that it's not here. I'm absolutely sure, you know, and perhaps you can correct me if I'm wrong, I'm sure that this used to go down to Zoologischer Garten, this TXL. I'm pretty sure of it. Maybe I'm just imagining things. Right, come on then. Oh, the lights are on green. I was looking at those red ones in front. Of course, on the Steam Workshop, you can download... Uh, more routes, this fictional... Whoa, hang on. Just slamming on in the middle of the road there. That's not very good of you. I quite like that, though, because that's what drivers do in real life. Oh, we're speeding a little bit here, but it's fine, because we're a little bit late. We've got time to catch up. They are thinking of... Uh, in the roadmap, they are looking at adding wires. His indicator's just lit up on the left-hand side there. They're just lit up orange. Uh, of course, we can't forget the fact that this has still got the sounds from Fernbus, from the uh, the Scania touring. I would like to see some custom sounds for this bus. There's a, a little part of me that does worry 
uh, that that's not going to happen. I'm hoping that it will. I'm hoping that maybe just because of COVID, they've not had access uh, to record the sounds. I find that a bit of a weak and watery excuse, to be honest with you. I would really like to see a custom sound set for this. What the developers really need to realise is that they could be looking at the next OMSI here. They really, really could be looking at the next OMSI. I'm not going to go ahead and put it out there that this is better than OMSI, because the fact is it's not. You know, it's just not. But it could be the next OMSI. And I say that because look at the graphics. The graphics are sublime. They could add a map editor. But in order to do that, they really have to be looking at what their audience wants. The people that are buying this game want a bus simulator. They want a bus simulator that drives realistically. You know, that's why OMSI, at least 10 years since it was released. I mean, when did OMSI 1 come out? 2008, OMSI 2, maybe 2012, 2013, off the top of my head. That's why, to this day, 10 years later, it is still the best bus simulator because the physics are correct, everything about it is brilliant, other than the fact it's 32 bit and it has a tendency to be quite unstable. But if you can gloss over that, that's why it's so good. And the developers really need to look at what makes that so good and build on that. And this is why a lot of developers really don't bring out a lot of successful games now. You know, Trains in World 2, it's not as good. Bus Simulator 21, well, they've always been very similar, haven't they? But the devs need to look at what people want. And people want a realistic simulator. If they could do that, they're quids in. Absolutely quids in. But yeah, custom sound set, improve those physics a little bit, custom gearbox so that it actually behaves like the real thing. And I think we're really onto a winner here. I really, really do. It's quite busy, isn't it, the city today? Was it this? I don't think it was. Oh, hang on. Way. Nearly ended up in the back of this taxi. I like the fact as well, if you look in the taxi, there's people sat in the back. I mean, yeah, her hair is going through the headrest. But there's people sat in the vehicles, and the people in the vehicles, if you look like this lorry opposite, if we zoom in, they are too. Oh my lord, what on earth has she done? Someone's fired a paintball gun at her for her makeup this morning. Blow me no, my love. Less is more, less is more. But, um, yeah. What was I saying now? Christ, um. Sorry, Linda Blair that was driving the lorry over there, she's, uh. Oh, dear me, she's shaking me up. Right. If you're not sure who Linda Blair is, Google Linda Blair the Exorcist. Ooh, shudder. <laughs> Who'd have thought she was now driving lorries in Berlin? Right, but yeah, little attention to detail like that. Different people driving the vehicles. That's ace. Things like in Fernbus, the windows are just very tinted, so you can see there's like a silhouette of someone there. Oh, hang on, that's for me. Sorry. Yeah, little silhouettes is good because you can see there's someone in there. You don't get that on the likes of OMSI. But, you know, now we've got actual people driving the vehicles. I think that's a problem with the Skoda because that Skoda's uh, indicator lights are lit up as well. Maybe that's a little bug that they didn't know they'd put in. I like how this thing creaks and rattles as well. That really, really uh, ticks boxes for me. You know, I'm all about the realism. You know this. Oh, I'm sorry, we've committed. Yeah, if this is realistic, then you've absolutely scored Joe Plus point. Those would be separate to the Joe Plus member points. You've scored Joe points. The Joe seal of approval, that's what every game should aspire and strive to get one day. The Joe seal of approval. I don't know if the uh, if the fuel actually. Uh, hang on, we'll just nip over here. I think we're not meant to be in the far right hand lane, because that is for turning right. Yeah, I, what I was wondering is, does the fuel actually run out? You know, we've got. I think that's engine temperature, isn't it? But will the fuel run out if you drive this enough? Do you have to go and fuel the thing? That'd be ace if you did. There we go, F11. Have we got anyone stood up yet? No. Maybe standing passengers aren't a thing. Oh, I hope they are one day, because, I mean, these buses, when I've been on some of these, they're just absolutely mental. There's that many people on them. 
Which is quite nice, because people actually use the buses in Berlin. The buses are fast, the buses are clean, and the buses are uh, they're fairly cheap. And as you can see, the suspension is absolutely ace. It's nodding up and down, it's like a pacer. It's nodding donkey. I've lost my bearings here, where are we? Ah, so we're here, so then this is the final, final main road up to the airport now. Have they changed this a little bit? I feel like I've... Maybe we've... Have we gone a different route? No, of course we haven't. I do kind of... Oh, is this... Uh, ah, yeah, of course. That's um, Tiergarten. Oh, I can't wait until they add more routes to this. I really, really cannot. It's just brilliant. It really is good. Sorry, I've probably said that once or twice now. But it is. Right, away we go. It's quite a large steering wheel on the scan here, isn't it? Way. Come on. Oh yeah, I forgot in Berlin, you, yeah, when you turn right, you give way to those crossing. That's how this works. The problem is that uh, there's a lot of people crossing. <laughs> oh, that would be a curb. Oh well, it's not the end of the world, is it? Off we go. There is a lot of traffic here today. Absolutely obscene amount of traffic. Will somebody answer that flipping phone? I like how the cars as well are all based on real cars. You've got an Insignia on the right, an E-Class, a Honda, and a, uh, a whatchamacallit. It's not coming to me. I, I literally know what sort of car that is. Oi. A Jaguar. I don't know. Yeah, I think it is a Jaguar. It's what I'm going with, yeah. An XK or an XE. I can't remember what the flipping things are. Right, away we go. Nope, oh, phone's ringing. They're ringing you on your personal phone now. You've tried your work phone, you've not answered. They're ringing your personal phone. If you answer that phone, you're distracting the driver. Boiselstrasse, or Boiselstrasse. See, it's saying I'm speeding in the bottom right, but everyone else is speeding too. And that's another great thing, people speed. The fact of the matter is, in real life, people do speed. They just do. You know, there's no getting away from the fact. Nope. You know, people speed. Oh, hang on, we need to go forward. Oh, so is that acting as my route map? Sort of. But yeah, people... Oh, look, the cement mixer's mixing. Oh, I'm so happy right now. This is brilliant. Have I mentioned that? Is it a Jaguar? It looks like a Ford at the front. It's going to turn out to be neither, isn't it? Just some sort of invention of, uh, of TML's. Oh, it's that last with a funny face. She's there, look. She's off, uh, she's off Firm Bus and Taurus Bus Simulator. She gets about, doesn't she? Right, let's pop across into the bus lane here. Got a couple of trains down there. Oh, hang on. Stop looking at the trains because you're on the curb. Do the trains stop at the stations? I don't know. We'll never know. Hang on, someone wants a ticket. Right, well, you watch the trains while I do the ticket. Single ticket A, B. There we go. Right, is he... Why is he coming through? Why is the S-Bahn coming through on the express? Oh, dear. Oh, my Lord. He's hit something. He's absolutely hit a lamppost. 
Yeah, okay, let's just move on from that quickly before we get too bogged down in it, because my left eye started twitching again. I thought we'd put a stop to that. Das neue Internet für alle. Come on, you don't have to speak fluent German to know what that means. The new internet for all. I love the German language, I really do. I'm slowly, slowly picking it up. That's why we like going, because then you actually get to practice. It's all right learning a language at high school, or indeed at primary school, but if you never actually practice it, then what's the point? You know what I mean? Whereas when you actually go there and people speak the language and you have to speak the language, the problem is, is that sometimes, because obviously in my pidgin German I'm like plodding along, sometimes you speak to them and you might say, uh, Hallo, zwei Milchkaffee, bitte, which is two milky coffees, of course. Mm. My uh, talents know absolutely no bounds. Um, but then they reply to you in English because they can tell that you're English and obviously they don't want to mess about you know, with you holding up the queue of people trying to speak German and then reply to you and you'll be like, oh, I don't understand, sorry. Uh, it's quite like, you know, I always get a little bit sad when I'm trying and then they just reply to me in English. I'm just like, oh, no. <laughs> Mortified. But then some of them, if they're not in a, a rush, they let you try and, you know, that's quite nice. Some of them just let you struggle. I'm sure they say things deliberately complicated just to trip you up. Maybe. Maybe that's me being paranoid. Who knows? Right, away we go. Foot down. Next stop's not for a little bit. Buchholzweg. Buchholzweg. Very nice. Quick check of the mirror, nobody coming. I think, if memory serves me right, that this is the last stop before the airport. I think. We're absolutely bouncing up and down. Look at the suspension on this. The road textures as well are brilliant. You can see the road's not flat. You know, you can see where they dug bits of road up. This is what you want. You know, the rattling, the force feedback steering as well. That is another thing that is absolutely going like the clappers. You've got to hold on to the wheel because at any moment it could be launched out of your hand with these bumps on the road. And it vibrates as you're going along. It's just fantastic. Again, might have mentioned that once or twice, but this is a great bus simulator. Again, a few little snags, but this is the one you want, folks. It really is the one you want. Also, if you do like the bus, uh, I would strongly recommend... Oh, sorry, I parked my bus put you in the plant there, haven't I? Yeah, it's not a great place to put your doors, is it? Oh, hang on. What's happening to the pe- Oh no, they're all being abducted by aliens. Oh, that's not good. Right, you want a ticket? Quick, my love, get inside. There's aliens abducting everybody. Uh, single ticket AB. Lovely, get that door shut. You go sit down. I'll get you out of here in a jiffy. Right, hang on. Good, someone parked in the bus lane just to spice things up a little bit. Oh, hang on, more people parked in the bus lane. Right, we're just going to stick to this side. It's not a bus lane anymore, is it? I mean, you can tell that that is meant to be a lane for traffic, and it's just not. Good old firm bus, Manline City, or Manline's Coach, sorry, parked in the bay here. You do often get them parked there, don't you? They, uh, not always white, sometimes they show up in different liveries. Oh, for crying out loud, have the parked cars not finished yet? Evidently not. Oh, 
Oh, going over a grate. Just caught me. Uh, oh, the orange cars are back. Volvo on the right hand side. Purple cars. Maybe we're in. Uh, oh, look, there's a Mercedes GLA over there. Is that the first time we've seen one of them? I like that, they keep adding new cars. I don't remember all of this, you know. I really don't remember all of this. I mean, I'm, I'm not doubting for a second it was here, but perhaps it's just because I've not driven the route in so long. There we go. Oh, nice stop there. Yeah, I'm convinced that red thing in front's a Ford, not a Jaguar. Oh, another test. Can we open the window? Yes. It doesn't seem to make any difference whatsoever to the sounds. There's no window noise at all. You know, no slidey noise, no bang when it shuts. That's something I'd like to see. Uh, oh! Ah! Yeah. We'll pull that down. That truck driver's giving me a funny look. Can we have... Oh, look at that. How far can we pull it down? Ace. So that we can't see where we're going. Now push it back up, please. Yep. Yeah. Because I actually can't see where I'm going. Oh, hang on. We're blaming that on the fact that sheep was in the way. Put you as well up, because you are obstructing my mirrors ever so slightly. Lovely. And of course the glare, you can see the glare, like the, the rays from the sun. Um, yeah, thanks for that, Mountaineero, flipping Range Rovers. Right, we're going to go this way. It says taxi, but I reckon buses can go this way as well. Oh, dear me, right, okay. Uh, yeah, we're just going to nip in here. Oh, no! Nearly. Oh, that was a... Yeah, that was a road sign. We wish you a pleasant flight. Well, it can't be any worse than the bus trip here. Here we are, Flughafen Teagle. Is that the tail fin of a plane I can see? Yes, and it has got the Lufthansa logo on. Wow, I love it. I love it. We don't actually know. Oh, hang on. I'm, I'm so busy loving it that we're just driving past uh, where we are meant to stop. Let's, uh, let's just reverse in. Get out of my way. You've seen what I'll do to a Range Rover. Right, there we go. Get the, uh, get the doors open there. I absolutely love that. I don't know what's happening in that plane. Those lights are quite bright. But uh, yeah, this game has improved so much. And I hope you have enjoyed the journey. I am really excited for what is to come with this game because so far it's still in early access and yet the updates keep coming thick and fast. And, uh, you know, it's just getting better and better and better. So I really am excited to see what continues to happen with this game. Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed today's video, please do show your appreciation by clicking that like button. It helps the video do better and it makes for a very happy Joe. And of course, if you are as excited about the bus as I am, make sure you subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell because there's plenty more updates to be had with this and I'd hate for you to miss out. Other than that, as I say, thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you all next time. Cheerio! Goodbye for now.